Yo, hi guys, this is your boy, Alano B, the billionaire, the biggest brand in Africa. So guys, it's rainy, we all know that. Uh, unfortunately, we have many people who have been affected by these rains, uh, both negatively and positively. So the negative side is uh, some houses have been swept away and uh, people have been, uh, people, people don't have the place to sleep or maybe their homes have been affected and that's very very bad and i hope the government as we all know we always hoping that the government will always uh support us but you know you 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 all know i don't want to talk about anything but for now you know me i'm here as a farmer and you know as farmers we are we have also been affected either positively or negatively we have farmers who want this rain more and more of it and we have those who don't want this rain especially those farmers who do let me say cash crops huh? these small crops that take very few months to grow mature these are things like uh, things like onions things like beans such kind of crops and uh, we have as the people, the long rangers, the people who do sugar cane, and we literally need this rain, you know, because canes with this kind of rains they push the growth very fast. So, uh, and you know, all in all, that's what nature is. But <clears throat> today, I'm here to tell you why I stopped uh, doing maize and beans because you know, I did maize and beans farming for like how many years from 2015 to 2018 and all those years let me be honest i never ever made profits from maize production i used to make losses why you know maize and beans these are crops that take short period of time to mature for example if you do maize from march they will be ready by august so from august people start harvesting uh, and so this means for you to get the best harvest in these crops you must have the favorite weather conditions if it's rain let it be moderate if it's um, uh, sun let it be moderate but unfortunately each and every year has its own weather systems or weather patterns they keep changing this year i think uh, this was uh, 2018 or 2019 even 2022 there was the sun was hot and it was dry in western part of in western regions it was dry i remember because i had cans that period and my cans were burning uh, the cans that i saw was like hey, tears almost came out of my eyes because I couldn't believe and I saw people who had done maize they never harvested anything so the weather patterns keep changing and you know with that it means you, you, your outputs are always affected by such kind of weather patterns so like right now we have a lot of rain so people who do like uh, farming in swampy areas and they don't have good drainage system they have been affected by these rains because too much water for plants they're always affected especially maize or especially onion so you get the plants struggled with uh, with uh, that conditions and it will automatically affect your output you will not harvest as much as you expected and that's what i suffered a lot because i remember there's this land i had uh, acquired uh, one point three, one one acre and three quarters, and uh, before you know me, I I lease my f lands or farms, and uh, I automatically do cans. So I was like, okay, before I do, uh, I before I plant cans, uh, let me first do maize. Then after that, I will come and do uh, sugar cane. I was like it okay let me do it so i had some money so the money i had i was able to do the first acre uh, then the three quarters my pockets were no good so i decided to go and look out for these people who normally provide these farming inputs on loan i was like okay 
I looked around, so one acre fund, yes, if I'm not wrong. So these guys gave me inputs. They were like four packets of maize, two bags of fertilizer, 50 kgs. That's DAP and CN. Yo, the amount was the amount was seventeen thousand. I remember, so I did a deposit of four thousand. They gave me the inputs. I went and planted. Then, unfortunately, the rains were too much. That piece of land, the three quarters, gave me only two bags of maize, and I th I think the the one acre did well. It gave me ten bags. Around ten bags. You see, so. I ended up paying 17000 from my pocket. Then I got two bags, sold them at 4K each. That's 8000 Then I have not added other costs like land preparation, weeding, uh, drainage systems, uh, harvesting costs, um, a lot of things. That was like... This is not what I normally do because I had experienced the this before and I left the production of maize. But this round I was doing it for just for the sake of doing it. So you know as a can farmer I need more rain as long as my farms are well drained. I need more of this because with these rains they boost uh, maturity in cans. Because the cans want more water so that they they can put uh, like they can develop those fruits faster. So I'm like, if you have been doing farming and you get this kind of weather conditions, what's your reaction? But because that's what made me switch from maize to cans because I couldn't withstand those kind of losses each and every year. I'm making losses, and you know <clears throat> you are leasing the land, paying these people. You have to prepare the land, you have to make everything, and you have to make sure that you get the best returns. Because in farming, it's just the same as other businesses, where you, as you put in the inputs, you also expect the outputs to be good. Because we need those profits. But if you're making losses each and every year, why should you continue doing the things that are not making you grow? Like for me, maize was not making me grow compared to sugarcane. And for me, sugarcane has really, really done marvelous job to me. I've been able to do things that I don't think uh, maize could have done, could have, uh, could have been able to do if I was doing maize farming. So these rains, as much as it's too much, there are people who, like us, who are praying like we continue having them so that the sugarcane that I harvested this year I can be able to harvest them next year by by March latest or by April because you know with cans you are counting for 18 months but with this kind of weather when the, the conditions are good the maturity will be faster and we as, as, as business people you don't want to spend a lot of time make, working on something that is making you it's, that is not making you good good money so uh, we also want more rain so that they can give us, they can also make our crops to grow faster as uh, sugarcane farmers. Then we can make more money out, out of it because when the sun, the, the, like when the dry season comes, we, we hate it because cans will not grow. They will be like the burning and everything is happening to them. So each and every season has its own ups and downs but for this kind of rains and also by there let me be honest when there is a lot of rain let me the economy is stabilized if you don't know that because once the country has enough supply of food then people forget other problems like oh they will not complain that's why you see people the people are not complaining about the economy right now because you know with rain last like when i was at home this year I saw, I went to a certain farm and this guy had a lot of skuma wiki. He was selling one bag at 200 shillings only. Full sack, 200 shillings. Because there are a lot of skuma wikis all over the place. This year, last year, last year, if you don't know, one, I think I will put it 
in terms of kgs because i know 2.5 kgs of groundnuts last year same same time as this it was going for around 650 shillings this year 2.5 kgs of groundnuts is 300 at most 350 look at the drop because from last year there has there have been a lot of rains i have what i call special ndengu 70 i'll say maybe i'll put it in terms of i think i have almost 150 kgs of special ndengus and the price is so bad that i don't know what to sell them if please if you have a good market for them please ask me i'll provide i provide them because people have a lot of those kind of ndengus and nobody's buying so guys this has been my tech on these rains and i hope you guys can stay safe first so that we think of other things stay safe if you can uh as farmers let's do whatever we do but also you know guys it's funny thing i'm i'm a farmer but i love technology so i'm a techie enthusiast as they call it i do design if you have design jobs hit me alan will be the billionaire peace